And just off of this single prompt of creating a functional meeting tracker app, I was able to get an output of this, where you have the ability to track all of your meetings by providing the necessary information, and you can even search up your meetings. And all of this was done with one single prompt. A while back, we had taken a look at a framework that used the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet primarily to be your AI assistant, and it's designed for creating and managing AI agents, as well as creating applications. On my last video of this tool, I had actually created a CRM dashboard with it, and it was something that I was capable of generating with a single prompt. It is developed by a popular developer on X named Pythro, and he has been continuously working on the project and has went along to even upgrade the project further. It's a project that I have showcased multiple times called Claude Engineer, and Pythro has been continuously working on further upgrading it, and recently they have just released the third iteration of it called the version 3 release. It's a powerful, new self-improving AI coding assistant that's capable of creating and managing AI agents with the new upgraded Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. It's a framework that enables Cloud to generate and manage its own tools and continuously expand its, upon its own capabilities through conversations. It's available both as a CLI tool as well as a modern web interface. Cloud Engineer V3 is basically this new sophisticated framework that will enable Cloud to expand on its own capabilities through dynamic tool creation. During conversations, what will happen is that Cloud can basically work on identifying the needs for new tools. It will actually go ahead and then design them and implement them automatically. It's essentially a self-improving architecture that will become more powerful as you use it. Just take a look at this video demo where it is showcasing the self-improving assistant that doesn't just run tools, but it also creates them on the fly. Where in this case, it created a web scraping tool and it was capable of extracting the contents off that web page for you. Even though it wasn't a necessary prompt that was sent in, it just essentially created the tool that can help you with that web scraping capability. So let's get started and showcase how you can install this. First things first, you will need to install based off of the requirements of your operating system. If you have Mac OS or Linux, you would want to follow through with these following commands. If you have a Windows computer, you can follow through with these commands. First things first, we need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled. You'll need UV uh, packages. You'll need Python installed. You'll also need Git installed as well as VS Code. Once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, let's get started. Let's first start off by installing the UV packages. So go ahead and copy it based off your operating system and then go ahead and open your command prompt up. You can search it up and then you can open this up and then paste in this PowerShell command to install the UV packages. After it's installed, go ahead and copy the git clone command and then you can go ahead and paste it into your command prompt and this will start cloning the repository. And once that's finished installing, go ahead into the Claude Engineer folder by typing in Claude Engineer after or uh, before that make sure you write cd and then click enter next you're going to need to start up your virtual environment and that's by simply going ahead and copying the uv command and then pasting it within the cloud engineer folder this will start up the virtual environment that's by simply pasting in the command the second one and then you can go ahead and activate it and you'll see that it's activated once you see cloud engineer within the brackets but now we're going to go ahead and set our api keys so go ahead and open up visual studio code and then go ahead and open up the folder of where you clone cloud engineer once you have opened the folder up go over to the dot example file go ahead and click on rename and you want to get rid of the dot example part of this file once that is done go ahead and place in your anthropic api key as well as your e2b api key it's completely free to get an api key from e2b so go ahead and sign up and get this key once you have placed in your key click on file and click save now, like I mentioned at the start, there's two ways to actually access Cloud Engineer. You can run the web interface, which is something that I definitely recommend that you do so, or you can run it within your CLI. So this is within your terminal with the second command. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and run this with the web interface. So we're going to copy and paste in this command, and we should have it started up within our web local host. So it's now available on my local host, and you can see that it is now ready to play around with. So you can see. Right now, you can start accessing the Cloud Engineer with this web-based host where you have the ability to upload files and you also have the ability 
to start generating with it with its self-evolving capabilities. Let's first start off and have it create a modern e-commerce website that sells AI glasses. We're going to go ahead and send this in and I want to basically see how well this model is in terms of its capabilities of coding. So once it has finished generating, I'll go ahead and showcase the code and then we can open up the application. What's cool is that Claude Engineer in the back end is going to be working on creating the small sections of what you had requested within this web interface. So on the back end, you can see what is being developed within your CLI. And it looks like it was having a couple of technical difficulties with the file creation tool. So it went along and created what it was capable of doing, such as the HTML file, the CSS, as well as JavaScript. And it responds with this following uh, text. Now, obviously, it's not something that would be ideal to have outputted. It's easier to look at it on the CLI and you can see it goes ahead and saves it to the local directory within Cloud Engineer. So we're going to go ahead and check out what it was capable of generating. Now, I'll be completely honest. This was something that was kind of hard to work with because I didn't know where I had actually generated the contents for this e-commerce website. I had it to go into the directory. I actually asked it where it generated it and it was able to generate it within the Cloud Engineer main directory so it goes ahead it generates all the files in one single area so you can see that the website html for this e-commerce store is over here it does a great job in generating the contents which you can see right now in the e-commerce front page for the ai glasses i had requested and it actually did a great job in doing this but the fact that it generated all the contents in one single area in the main directory of cloud engineer is kind of not efficient and it definitely needs more work where you can have it saved to a specific different area that's not essentially the same cloud engineer directory next i had requested it to find the most latest ai news of the day and this is where it had opened up these different links to the most latest ai news today so in this case one is about ai from mit technology review another one is about perplexities carbon integration and another one on uh, the featured content which is talking about OpenAI's funds one million study one million dollar study on ai and morality at duke university so it was capable of opening up those three web pages for me and finding the latest ai news on those three topics and one thing you'll notice is that there is this counter or this limit tracker that is all the way up to 200k it's a context rate uh conversation limit that will basically restrict you from surpassing 200k so if you are to reach this limit you will need to then go ahead and just simply go ahead and click on reset this is essentially for the self-evolving capabilities it's used for that but that is also another thing that i don't really like because it restricts you from having really small conversations within the web interface next up i had requested it to create a functional meeting tracking application with a nice looking ui and it had requested me to start up the local server for it and just off of this single prompt of creating a functional meeting tracker app i was able to get an output of this where you have the ability to track all of your meetings by providing the necessary information and you can even search up your meetings and all of this was done with one single prompt now honestly there's so much more to this and i definitely recommend that you take a look at this because there's a lot more information on the github repository which talks about all the different features that are associated with Cloud Engineer's new update. I definitely recommend that you take a look at this with all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon. Make sure you follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Peace out, fellas.